struggling there? What do you want? I'm here to talk about Minesweeper. Oh, whatever, go ahead. When I last played Minesweeper, the board looked like this. Yeah, that humbled me. So I went to investigate what research has been done about this game to explore some basic strategies and how a computer could approach it. So, how should you start a game of Minesweeper? It's important to know that Minesweeper is programmed so you cannot lose in the first turn. Originally, I would have thought there isn't much difference where you start. Some sites advise to pick a centre tile so that you have more options, thus a smaller chance of hitting a mine. It turns out though that edge and corner starts produced higher win rates. You see, having fewer neighbouring tiles means that there is a higher chance of the tile having no mine neighbours. This means that edges and corners are more likely to be a zero tile. This is valuable as revealing a zero means you can immediately reveal all neighbouring tiles, giving you far more information about the board. When Chris Studholm explored Minesweeper, he discovered that on Expert Difficulty Minesweeper, where 20% tiles are mines, a centre tile has a 13% chance of being a zero tile. Edges have a 26% chance, whilst corners have a 41% chance. That means that corner tiles are the best, edges come next, and centre tiles come last in importance. Knowing that, let's adapt a simple algorithm developed by Casper Peterson called Naive Single Point. This algorithm keeps a list of tiles, starting with a random unmarked one. It checks the tile at the start of the list, then explores the state of the tile's neighbours. There are three states to consider. The first is when all unmarked neighbours are safe. This is true when the label equals the marked neighbouring tiles. The current tile was unloaded from the list, and the unmarked tiles would be put in the list to be explored next. In the second state, the label is equal to the amount of unexplored neighbours. We can mark all the neighbours as mines, then we can throw away the tile from the list and select another random one. Back to the original board, we have our last state wherein we are not certain about the tile's neighbours, so we unload this tile from the list and load another one and keep going with these rules until we either lose or clear the board. We can improve this algorithm slightly by taking advantage of the fact that corners and edges may allow us to safely reveal more of the board. Instead of selecting a random tile each time, we can start by always selecting a corner, then weighting random tiles so that there is a higher chance of selecting an edge than a centre tile. Can this algorithm reliably beat a human? Probably not. There are many more complex algorithms using linear algebra and dynamic programming that could. See, Minesweeper may seem relatively simple, but computationally it's actually surprisingly complicated. It has been proven to be what's known as an MP-complete problem. This is a class of problems that are very heavy computationally. An algorithm can take hours to compute an MP-complete problem even on a small input. It's like the traveling salesman problem, if you've heard of it. Come on, man. Don't ruin Minesweeper for me. Uh, wrong move. Oh! <laughs>